Roosevelt elk are a really important species on the national forest. They're actually a management indicator species. They're also a, a hugely important economic species on the peninsula for tribes, for hunters, all manner of activity associated with hunting and wildlife viewing as well. One factor that seems to be affecting elk populations on the peninsula is lack of forage. So these particular stands, which are regenerated after clear-cut harvests, are extremely dense. There's not a lot of undergrowth. There's not a lot of forage for big game species. By pre-commercially thinning, we can open up the stand to sunlight, get more diversity in the understory, get more plants growing that elk and deer can then consume. The first part of the project in these stands is to do the pre-commercial thinning, but then because there's slash created, we need to come in and cut the slash up into smaller pieces, pile it into habitat structures which are used by a variety of mammals, small birds, amphibians, reptiles. I've, I've seen snakes curled up outside the piles on warmer days. These are of various sizes, but some of them can be quite large, and this is one example here. This particular area is part of a Roosevelt elk habitat enhancement project. We have been setting up remote cameras to document wildlife use in the area following some of the habitat work. This is one example of a remote camera. The forest has purchased several. It's, you know, it's really simple. It's just basically a camera that works by being sensitive to motion and heat. And so as animals move into the range of the camera, uh, basically a picture is taken of them. And it looks like it's got 66 pictures. So what I generally do is I just take note of all that, how much battery power is left, how many pictures, and then turn it off, and then remove the memory card. And then I can look at that through um, my digital camera and, and see what wildlife have come by. The coyote, in fact, several. And then that might be a bobcat. Let's zoom in a little bit. Yeah, I think that's a bobcat. And sometimes there are pictures of seemingly nothing. Oh, there's a black bear. So that's about all there is to it. There's plenty of battery power left for some time, so I won't replace the batteries. But um, just pull out the memory card, put in a new one. And these cameras aren't baited, so it's just kind of documenting whatever comes into the opening. So those are huckleberry, elderberry, different low-growing forbs like oxalis, twin flower, the different ferns, all those kinds of things just are part of a, a more diverse ecosystem.